Hello everybody, welcome to this evening's bedtime story. This is another one about a monster. It's called Emily Brown and the Thing and it's by Cressida Cowell. Cressida Cowell is the author who wrote How to Train Your Dragon. You might know that text already. And it's illustrated by Neil Layton. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Emily Brown and an old grey rabbit called Stanley. Emily Brown and Stanley were trying to get to sleep after a busy day, but a noise was keeping them awake. Splish went the noise. Splosh went the noise. It seemed to be coming from the window. Splish, splosh. You see, she's got one eye open. Don't think she's asleep just yet. There was a thing sitting on the window sill. Large tears were dripping onto his pajamas. Oh dear! Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown! Wept the thing. I can't find my cuddly, however hard I look. It's not in the dark and scary wood, and it's not under my pillow. You and Stanley must come and find it for me, because I just can't sleep without my cuddly. So Emily Brown and Stanley put on their wet weather wind coats and their sea in the dark glasses and their special boots for climbing. They searched down low in the tangles and they searched up high in the treetops. They ran away from wolves. Grrr. And eventually they found the things cuddly, right at the top of the twistiest, thorniest tree in the dark and scary woods. Thank you, said the thing. Don't mention it, said Emily Brown, and now you must be quiet. Stanley and I are trying to sleep. I promise, said the thing, cuddling his cuddly. Emily Brown shut the window. A short while later, Emily Brown and Stanley were trying to get to sleep again, but a noise was keeping them awake. Rumble, 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 went the noise. Rumble, rumble, rumble. It seemed to be coming from the kitchen. Rumble, rumble, rumble. It was the thing again. Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown, grumbled the thing. All I had for tea was a hundred hamburgers and one small apple for the vitamins and now I'm ever so hungry and thirsty. You and Stanley must fetch me my bedtime milk because I just can't sleep when my tummy is rumbling. So Emily Brown and Stanley sighed heavily. <sighs> and put snow snugglers on their heads and ski plankers on their feet and their fluffiest winter warmers over everything. They skied off through the wild and whirling wastes, through blizzards and hurricanes, till their hands were frozen and their legs were sore, searching for a mug of milk for the thing's bedtime snack. Stanley had to distract a polar bear who thought the milk belonged to him. Grrr. Thank you, said the thing. Don't mention it, said Emily Brown, and now you must be quiet. Stanley and I are trying to sleep. I promise, said the thing, dropping most of his milk over his pyjama top. Emily Brown shut the refrigerator door. Five minutes later, Emily Brown and Stanley were still trying to get to sleep, but a noise was keeping them awake. Cough, 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 cough went the noise. Cough, 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 cough. It seemed to be coming from the cellar door under the stairs. I hope it's not the thing again, said Emily Brown crossly. Cough, 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 cough. It was the thing. Cough, 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 cough. Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown, coughed the thing. I'm feeling very poorly. I need my special green medicine. You and Stanley must fetch it for me from the whiny witch's cavern under the stairs because I just can't sleep when my throat is tickling. So Emily Brown and Stanley gritted their teeth and pulled out their dark sea-in-the-dark sea glasses again. 
and their special tangly ropes and their bottles for carrying medicine in. They crept through the twisty turny witch's caverns under the stair and they put their hands on cobwebs and they bumped into bats. They had to tell the whiny witches lots and lots of stories in return for the medicine. Wine, wine, cackle, 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 wine. Thank you, said the thing. Don't mention it, said Emily Brown. And now you really, really do have to be quiet. Stanley and I are trying to sleep. Emily Brown had hardly even shut her eyes before the noise started again. Scratch, 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 went the noise. It seemed to be coming from under the bed. Scratch, scratch, scratch. It was that thing again. I've got this very itchy leg, began the thing. But this time, Emily Brown had had enough. Stop, shouted Emily Brown. I've had enough. We've rescued your cuddly from the dark and scary wood. We've fetched your milk from the wild and whirling wastes. We've borrowed your medicine from the weird and whiny witches. Stanley and I are exhausted. There's nothing wrong with your leg. What's really the matter? Two large tears crept down the thing's cheeks and onto his furry chest. I'm s s s scared, whispered the thing. Ah, so that's been the problem, said Emily Brown, drying his tears and handling him his cuddly again. What are you scared of? Oh, I don't know. Things, said the thing. But you are a thing, said Emily Brown. Am I? said the thing in surprise. I wondered what I was. You see, she's showing him a picture. I think she's drawn lots of different animals. She's drawn a thing. You're definitely a thing, said Emily Brown, tucking him in tightly and putting his hot water bottle underneath his hairy legs. Am I scary? asked the thing. You're not scary at all, said Emily Brown. You're a very nice thing, and when Stanley and I are trying to get to sleep, we always find it helps to think of nice things. Maybe you should try doing that to yourself. Maybe I will, <sighs> said the nice thing, yawning very wide. Night, night, Emily Brown. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. The end. Did you enjoy that one? What kinds of nice things could you think about if you're finding it tricky to get to sleep? Okay, tuck yourself up. Good night.